Hello everybody, it's Claire here from Sew by Claire and today I've got another skill builder session for you and this one again is on hemming trousers. I posted one yesterday which was how I generally hem my trousers. Um, however, with some trousers you'll find that the fabric is so fine or just such a light um, weave that you actually need to, you, well it is actually impossible to do it invisibly on the machine whether you use a blind um, hem stitch or whether you um, just sew it over. Um, so I was shown this stitch which I kind of call a loopy hem stitch but what it does is it doesn't put any pressure onto the actual fabric itself and it does give a really fabulous finish on a hem. So if you've got a skirt that you wanted to hem or you've got um, trousers, suit trousers particularly where it's a really lightweight fabric then this stitch is a really good one to learn. So um, let's just see if I can get it um, set up for you and I'll show you what I've been doing and hopefully you'll agree it gives a fabulous result. So here you'll see that I've done my thread basting that I also talked about in the last video and this video uh, this um, trouser has also got this hem tape which I've moved so that's just a piece of um, grow grain ribbon that is put at the on the back um, of the heel sort of the, on the back of the leg at the hem and it just finishes just on the edge of the fabric there so that when that's up it just reinforces that hem so it doesn't doesn't wear out too quickly if it's um, if it's walking or rubbing on shoes. So I've set it up exactly the same way. On this one though, I have overlocked the hem first, just a single line because again, we've got a really fine suit fabric here. And if we were to double fold this, the, the hem would just be too bulky. So again, I've just used a coordinating thread and just um, overlocked that in order to seal that. You could use a zigzag stitch, but just be careful your zigzag stitch doesn't bunch up when you're doing it, reduce your um, tension. Okay, and then if we look inside here, you'll see this little loopy stitch. So it's a little bit like a herringbone, a little bit like um, a, um, a stitch like that. But what it actually does, if I turn this round to the other side, you can see that that's the section that I've already, already sewn. And if we look on the front side here, look how invisible that is on the hem there. There's no sign of those stitches at all. We know it's attached because it won't pull apart, but that's how it is. So I just thought I'd show you how I do this stitch and hopefully it will be of interest to somebody if you are having to hem anything at any time. So I've got my um, needle threaded. I've got a single, single th strand of thread. It's not doubled. I've got my fabric on the edge here so that I know that where my hem is. Really useful tip that is to have that here. And what we want to do is we want to make a circle with our thread so, this, so the thread goes over the back of the stitch, like this, and then we're going to take a bite. So the last one I took a bite out was out of the trouser leg, so this time it's going to be out of the hem. So we're just going to take a little stitch out of the hem only. We're not going through the other side, it's just through the hem look. So we alternate the sides and then we just pull that thread through. Don't pull it too tight but because you just want this little loop just to be left on the edge there like that. Can you see that's quite loose? And then thread round again. And then this time we're just gonna take a couple of threads, almost invisibly, just of the trouser leg. So just like that. Can you see how fine that, oh, excuse my polyfilm, sorry. You won't want to see that, do you? But yeah, just a couple of threads there. And then again, just being careful, you don't want any tension on, onto this um, fabric at all. Just pull that through and just leave it loose again. Okay, so you can see that's, that's nice and loose. And then we wrap our thread round again. And then we take a stitch out of our hem. You can be a little bit more generous with the threads on that. And you can see the thread just wrapping round the needle as we pull it tight. Well, not tight, but just pull it tighter and we have this little loose thread so again we're back into our stitches again into our hem probably a bit too much so literally just a couple of threads at a time making sure that we're still within that working within that loop so that the thread wraps round 
okay and then that's the next stitch and then around again for the thread and out of the hem this time and we just keep alternating those stitches round and through the hem just making sure we're still straight on here here being the bottom of the of the hem Another little stitch there, one out of the actual hem itself. And you can get quite quick at doing this. If they start to get a little bit loose, just go back and just gently just ease that thread, just very gently, and you can just tighten it up. But you want this loopy kind of effect on the top there because that's what gives you this loopy feeling inside. And that's what we want. We want this loopiness because without that tension on the stitch on the threads, it gives you this lovely invisible hem. Which So the hemline is just across there, which you can't then see and is completely invisible. I've got one here that I've completely done already. I've already done the other leg. There's the tape on the bottom again. And there's all the stitches inside. And then on the outside, there's nothing to see. So completely invisible. So I hope that's useful for you. It's one just to file away. Definitely a skill builder um, video of this one because this, this stitch is just so useful. Um, and also um, hopefully it'll be helpful for you for creating invisible hems on your garments. Have a great day, everybody.